Good morning. My name is Willie Lawson of The Willie Lawson Show. And um, we are going to um, spend some time uh, educating, equipping, and empowering you uh, with some information from one of our affiliate partners, New Homes of Tampa Bay. Um, You can get a hold of New Homes of Tampa Bay yourself at www.newhomestpa.com. Our first home today is in Riverview, Florida. Um, it is the sanctuary. It's Roby built, uh, Roby by Express Homes. The asking price is two hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars. The living square uh, feet is twenty four forty seven, and that makes the price per square foot eighty five dollars and forty two cents. The sanctuary is a community built by Express Homes, a division of D R Horton. This specific brand of D R Horton focuses on being cost effective. Obviously, this example is generous in space and and price, but you're not going to get all the items that you've come to expect in a new home. Granite countertops are out of the window. It's likely to have laminate flooring. However, if you're looking for something brand new and inexpensive, this is the lowest price and bang for your buck you're going to find in Riverview. Our next home is in Riverview Meadows, The Windsor, also by D.R. Horton. Its asking price is $247,765. It has 2,766 um, square feet of living area. That makes the price per square foot $92.11. Riverview Meadows is the best kept secret in Riverview and probably the entire Bay Area. The homes built here are by far the best when it comes to bang for buck with all the features included. Riverview is booming with new home construction and have the most model homes in any city in the Bay Area. Resale homes have a tough time touching the price here. Beside that, the HOA is super relaxed here and only $50 a month with no CDD. You won't be paying for a clubhouse or a pool for everyone else to use while you're at work. This specific home is listed on the MLS on their website and they have listed it at $265,115. However, they are legally bound to honor the MLS price. Take advantage of their mistake. That's in Riverview Meadows, the Windsor. Now we move on to Stillwater at South Fork. Brandywine by Lennar. The asking price is $342,940. The living area square feet is $4,259. That puts the average price per square foot at $80.42. What else can we say? The numbers speak for themselves here. This home is absolutely massive. Two stories, a guest suite, and an absolutely epic master suite. What else could you want? That is Stillwater at South Fork, the brandy wine built by Lennar Builders. If we move further north, and in the below the 250,000 category, we have um, the community of Oak Creek, the home um, named the Heron by Homes of West Bay. Its asking price is $234,990. Living area square footage is 2379 which makes its price per square foot ninety eight seventy eight. This is a steal for a home in Wesley Chapel. The fact that it's a home by West Bay product is, a mind, is mind-numbing to me. Homes by West Bay is a top-shelf home builder in the Bay Area. They've won dozens of awards for style, design, and overall layouts, and they really set the bar in the Bay Area uh, in terms of, of what is expected when you visit a model home. Mind you, Wesley Chapel is among the most desirable places to move in the country, so much positive growth out here new outlet mall opening in the fall. The biggest Walmart in the state is here. Um, it's hard to find a reason not to move here. 
That's uh, the Oak Creek community, the Heron, uh, built by Homes by West Bay. Our next home is in Oak Creek, the Huntington, built by Inland Homes. It's asking price is $285,900. The living area square footage is 3083 That puts the price per square foot at $92.73. I dare you to find another neighborhood in Wesley Chapel with prices this good. Even homes that are 10 years old in Wesley Chapel are more expensive than this brand new home. This neighborhood is almost complete, so the home builders here are slashing prices to get out. Take advantage of it. This is the Oak Creek Community, the Huntington by Inland Homes in Wesley Chapel. Now back to our, our, uh, our builders, D.R. Horton. Um, this is in the Avalon Park West community. Um, the home is called the Surrey. Its asking price is $330,000. The living area square footage is $3,854, which puts its price per square foot at $85.63. This is absolutely where I would live if I was buying a home in Wesley Chapel. If this is an option for you, stop everything and go visit this community in Orlando. It's amazing. You'll be blown away that you can essentially steal a home here. This community is consistently underrated because it's prime to blow away communities like Seven Oaks, Meadow Point, and even Estancia at a fraction of the cost. That's Avalon Park West. And you can find all of these homes and you can get a hold of Gary Knight um, at New Homes Tampa Bay at www.newhomestpa.com. Or you can give him a call at 813-770-9452. That's 813-770-9452. On to Land O'Lakes. Um, the community is Concord Station. The home is the Plymouth built by Lennar. The asking price is two hundred forty, excuse me, $254,840, uh, which puts its living uh, area square footage as $2,076, and its price per square foot then is $122.76. Okay, we couldn't find anything legitimate below $250,000 in, in, in brand new Land O'Lakes, we included this home because of its location. You'll find it right between I-75 and the Veterans Expressway. So, so it's the gateway to the Bay Area. But in terms of bang for the buck on new homes uh, out there, it's as good as it gets. This is um, The community is Concord Station, and the home is the Plymouth by Lennar. The community is Connerton. The Daphne 3 by Taylor Morrison. The asking price is $268,450. The living area square footage is 3,621 feet, um, and which puts its price per square foot at $74.14. Connerton is an amazing place to live. The clubhouse and pool are awesome because it's almost like a water park. They have a community coffee shop and a daycare. It's really like its own little town and they are building fast. This little gym makes the HOA and CDD worthwhile. It is a fast growing neighborhood, so I would go as far as saying a home this big at this price is an investment. That's the Connerton community in Land O'Lakes, um, the Daphne 3 built by Taylor Morrison. Also in Land O'Lakes, in Connerton is the Rockford 3 by Taylor Morrison. Its asking price is $338,163. Its living area square footage is, is 3,692 uh, feet, and its price per square foot is $91.59. An incredible floor, floor plan. They did a great job on the use of space on this Taylor Morrison home. It's always free to visit. Go check it out. Connerton is a definitely uh, novelty community, but not overwhelming. I personally love it. More than a few millionaires live, in, live here, so the neighborhood isn't going downhill any 
time soon. All right, let's move to New Tampa in Cory Lake Isles. The Sanibel, built by Ryan Homes, is asking prices $299,435. The living area square footage is 3,485 feet, and the price per square foot is $85.92. Cory Lake Isles is back to reality in terms of pricing. It is a deal to see a home priced fairly in this neighborhood, let alone priced better than any new home in the, in New Tampa. People are scared to move to Cory Lake Isles because they think it's stupid expensive. By cutting pricing of, ho- of housing here, they made it worthwhile to live here. There is a reputation that goes with it. If you are into prestige of neighborhoods, this is definitely the most inexpensive way to get into one while not overpaying for what you're getting. Let's move on in New Tampa to K Bar Ranch, the Briarwood by Mobley Homes. The asking price is $225,900. The living area square footage is 3,393 square feet, which makes this price per square foot $96.05. Mobley Homes is a local builder that we're very fond of. Solid construction, great floor plans, build on your lot capabilities, They are very underrated in our opinion, mostly because they don't have millions of dollars of poor into advertising like other builders do. But that benefits you as a buyer because that cost isn't passed on in your home purchase. As you can see, the price reflects that. That's the K-Bar Ranch. Um, This is the Briarwood by Mobley Homes in New Tampa. Let's move out uh, out east to Brandon, to the Brandon Preserve. The home is the Sanibel by William Ryan Homes. The asking price is $274,000. The living area square footage is 2082 The price per square foot is $131.60. As you can see, Brandon's new home prices um, aren't fun to stomach. Uh, I'm not even going to try to sell this to you. If you want to live in a new home in Brandon, this is as good as it gets right now in terms of bang for the buck below $300,000. However, we have in our next home, Arbor Oaks, um, Magellan 2 by Taylor Morrison. The asking price is $466,179. The living area square footage is 4,830 feet, uh, square feet. Um, the price per square feet is $9,652. Sweet little community that is convenient to everything in the Bay Area. This is certainly one of the best priced homes in all of Brandon. This competes with pricing on many resale homes even. All right, did um, one of these deals tickle your fancy? Maybe you're just like the rest of us and don't care much about major details. All you want is a deal. We have access to some of the best deals around. Go to New Homes, tpa.com and sign up to stay informed of the best deals in the Bay Area from week to week. My name is Willie Lawson uh, of the Willie Lawson Show and this is New Homes, Tampa Bay.